I'm Toby. I'm a bioinformatics PhD student at the Wellcome Sanger Institute. I study the genetics of Crohn's disease. I'm a dry lab scientist, which means that I don't go into a sort of a laboratory setting. I don't associate with pipettes or chemicals or anything like that. I do all of my work on a computer and it's all data analysis, making sense of the work that others have done in the wet lab. So in my group in particular, on the project I'm working on, we have samples coming to the Sanger from people who have Crohn's disease. The wet lab team handle the samples, process them and produce the data. That data then gets passed on to the computational team. We try and make sense of the data in any way we can. We do comparisons between the people who have Crohn's and the people who are healthy to try and figure out what the differences are. Once we figure out those differences, we can then publish them online. We can share them with the wider scientific community, but also we directly feed them through to the pharmaceutical companies who develop the new drugs. I'm a bit biased, but I definitely think that I have the most exciting part of the job. We're, we're looking for patterns in the data, and the data can be very messy, but when you see that pattern, hopefully you can follow it and it will tell you a story. I've always been interested in computers and technology since a young age. Um, and at school, I really like science. And so I took triple science at GCSE. And then at A-level, I decided to again take all three sciences. And then I studied biology in my undergraduate degree. Took some computer science courses where I realized I really liked programming. And then I decided to do a bioinformatics master's, which is a computational biology master's. And that got me sort of into the dry lab setting where I was combining coding with biology. And that was really where I realized that was my passion. Collaboration is key to the work that we do in, in my group. When I'm clueless about a particular problem, and there'll be someone in my team who's, who knows that area. I just go walk over, tap them on the shoulder and be like, can you help me with my code? And we don't just focus on the work. We work very hard, but we also take time out to chat and to just be social. They're all good fun to talk to and good fun to, to work with. Bioinformatics is an incredibly exciting field to work in. There's lots of data being generated, lots of data sets covering humans, parasites, plants, so many different avenues you can go down. I've bounced between cancer genomics to now Crohn's disease genetics. When I'm done with this, I might move on to parasites, maybe work with malaria. Data from across the life sciences that's just waiting to be analyzed. Very exciting to, to know that's all out there. Everything that we do in our group is done with the idea of developing therapeutics to help people who have Crohn's disease. And it's very rewarding to know that I can do something that I not only really enjoy, but is also beneficial to the world. Science is incredibly creative. You need to be thinking of new ideas, pushing boundaries. You want to be the person in the room who comes from a different background, who can think outside the box. You've Googled away and you can't find the answer, so you need to come up with the answer yourself and put out that sort of new solution that no one's ever done before.